everyone so this is another video sort of focusing on the new sugar pill pigments um, in this video I use these three soda Hug Life and a little bit of Penelope, which you guys know is pretty much my favorite one um, of the new pigments that have been released. So um, I love playing around with them and this is the look that I came up with today. And it's green and fun, a um, little bit of drama underneath, and then a bright pink lip because um, I may mention at some point in the video uh, a lot of people are talking about spring and like, woo, it's, you know, it's still freezing cold, but at the very least I can wear bright colors and uh, who cares, right? So, so if you guys want to know how to do this and just stay tuned and here is the tutorial. So to start off this tutorial, I went ahead and applied an eyeshadow primer. I've used just Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, whatever one you like, you can use. So to start off, I'm using a color in the crease and this is actually not one of the pigments, but one of um, Sugar Pill's just regular pressed eyeshadows. Um, this one is called, I'm pretty sure this one is Midori, and it's just kind of a that green color. I, I very rarely wear green eyeshadow, like, ever, so for me, like, I have a lot of greens, but then I never use them, so I'm trying to, like, push myself to use them in creative ways that make me like them, because um, I feel like green eyeshadow, to me, I automatically think... St. Patrick's Day, which is kind of why I'm like filming this tutorial and putting it up around this time because this is the kind of look that I would wear around St. Patrick's Day. Um, but let me know, like really, do you guys wear green eyeshadow um, other than that time of year? Because I kind of don't actually, like I, I very rarely wear it. On a 217 style brush and this is just gonna go um, right into my crease. And then I'm going to turn the brush on its side and kind of assist that in blending it up. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to go into this pigment. And this one is called Mint Soda. Um, this is actually really pretty and I want to use this in a look all its own because I think it's gorgeous. Um, just a light sort of minty color. So I'm just going to take the tip of that brush, um, go into the product, and then sort of just tap it and swirl it in the lid and then tap it off again and that really helps to make sure that there's very little fallout or less fallout and then this is going to get applied just sort of right above that color that we just put down there acting as even a lighter sort of transition shade and this also has some gold glitter in it and a gold sparkle in it so it really helps um sort of brighten it up then i'm just going to take a little pencil brush i'm going to go into that mint soda color that we just used get a little bit of it on the tip of a pencil brush and this is going to go right on the inner corner. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a white sticky base. So I'm using NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. Um, I'm just going to put a couple dabs of that just on my eyelid. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. So for that I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush. I find it easier to sort of go into the product. Um, tap it off again in the lid and sort of just make sure that it's all in there and then I'm just going to apply this right on the lid and the color that I'm using I don't think I mentioned sorry um, this one is called hug life which is just like the best name ever and it's kind of um, a teal teal aqua sort of color and it does have a slight gold shimmer in it and again this look is again something different than I normally do because I normally use a lot of matte eyeshadows um, not very much shimmer so um, it's good to sort of switch up your taste and styles every now and then and kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit okay so then for underneath the eye I'm just going to use kind of the same technique I'm just going to use a white eye pencil this is fascinating um, from MAC and I'm just going to put this underneath my eye and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into Hug Life that teal color and I'm gonna take it on the tip of the pencil brush and I'm gonna apply it right on the inner corner a little bit in and then right on the outside corner and I'm just gonna leave that sort of middle part open and then that is when I'm going to go into Penelope this gorgeous copper like I can't stop using this color I want to put it on my face with every single eyeshadow look I've ever do now um, 
So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of that pigment, just saying. So I'm just going to take the same pencil brush, get a little bit of that in there, and then I'm going to pack that sort of on the in-between part. And I love using these rusty colors with um, teal greens because it kind of looks almost like that tarnished, uh, what is it, like tarnished gold or tarnished metal sort of color when it has um, that kind of coppery, greeny patina. So it's almost like a natural color combination, but it's something that um, is pulled from nature that you wouldn't otherwise think would go together, but they really do. i curl my lashes a little bit. And just on the waterline, I'm just going to use a black eyeliner just to sort of darken it up a little bit. So I'm just using Fascinating Eye Coal from MAC. Oh, well, not Fascinating. Uh, this one is Feline. Add a little bit of that. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. And instead of adding eyeliner to these kinds of looks, I like applying a ton of mascara. And it really helps, I think, bring that drama. So that is it for the eyes. For blush, I'm actually going to stick with sort of like a peachy blush because I find um, teal greens and stuff go really, really well with peach. You can see sort of in the packaging, like that goes well together. Um, this, is going, this is Kitten Parade from Sugar Pill as well. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a brush and apply it as a blush. And in case you didn't notice, um, Kitten Parade is pretty much an exact dupe. Whoops, I dropped a brush. It's pretty much an exact dupe for NARS Orgasm Blush. Like, they're really similar. And yes, mine is completely busted and I have like that much left. But um, yeah, so if you're in the market for NARS Orgasm Blush, but then you also want awesome eyeshadows, um, just get this. I'm just saying. Because this blush, as Catherine Lights would say, it's expansive. And then for lips, I decided to do something a little bit fun. Um, even though it's not close to being spring here, like it's still minus 18 degrees, um, I decided to do a little bit of pink because I feel like it would go well with this. Uh, this color is the Sephora Lip Stain in number 12, and this is apparently a really good dupe for the Lime Crime color in Utopia. So I picked this one up and I won't be really getting the Lime Crime one, if that makes any sense. Um, be sure to check out this Instagram, it's called Dupe That, and they post dupes of like lip products. It's awesome. It saved me a lot of time and a lot of money, and it also saves me from having to like order products online. Um, for example, they suggested that um, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Outlaw is very similar to Red Velvet from Lime Crime, and then they, then they suggested that the Sephora lip stain in 12 is similar to Utopia. So now that's like two things that I don't have to wait to order online. So that's kind of handy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this lip stain. A lip cream, whatever the hell it's called, I don't know. So then with the lip product applied, that is the finished look. Um, just a little mini review of these. I love these. I find they last sort of um, pretty on par to the Kat Von D ones. The Lime Crime ones last a little bit longer, but they're a little bit more drying. Uh, these ones have my favorite applicator and they have my favorite sort of um, application texture. Uh, I find they're super, super easy to apply and they stay. Um, one thing that's kind of a really sort of random thing, I find that the doe foot applicator in this one, I don't know if it just has like more little hairs on it or something, um, it tickles my inner lip. Like when I do my upper lip, it tickles more than the other ones. I don't know why, but I'm just like applying and I'm like, it <laughs> feels um, more funny. So that's kind of a random tip. But yeah, I really like these and I have two colors and I plan on getting some more um, if they sort of release more interesting colors, I guess. But um, definitely check these out because they're really good. This dark purple one in 15 is like the bomb.com. So. so yeah, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Um, let me know if you guys like this sort of like greeny kind of looks. Um, it's definitely a change from my normal things that I do. Cause like I said, I'm really into reds and oranges and that's all I've been wearing lately is reds and oranges. Cause it's sort of in that um, grungy vibe, I guess. And uh, I love stuff like that, so. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me know if you guys like it. Let me know um, if you've tried the new sugar pill pigments, which ones you like. My next couple videos will pretty much be me trying out all these different colors and combinations and stuff because I really, really love sugar pill and um, I think they're fantastic and I love trying out some new combinations with their products. So, uh, yeah. 
So until my next one, I will talk to all of you soon and I hope you guys are doing good. Bye.